Hello, everybody. Again, it's your favorite Sunday school teacher, Earl J. Griffin Sr., all the way from Gramlin, Louisiana. We've got an exciting lesson today. It's going to be hands-on, practical, something that you can get into, but we're still talking about praising God. We are still learning what it is to praise God and how God loves to be praised. We have discussed with you Moses and Miriam praise God, David dancing before the Ark of the Covenant of God. We have talked about glorifying God, which is just to give God honor. And now we have talked about believers praise God. That's who we are. That's what we do. And in unit two, we talked about make a joyful noise, praise God for justice and righteousness, give thanks to God for God's deliverance. We have expressed the joy that is to be had in the worship of God. And today we're talking about praise God with music. These two units should have invigorated your desire to praise God. Oh, how good it is to praise the Lord. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever into all generations. Our printed text for this lesson are Psalms 149 verses 1 through 5 and then Psalms 150 verses 1 through 6. Let us pray. God, we come again to gather around your word to glean those truths that are necessary for us to live as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ and for us to live as those who believe in our God and have faith in our God. And today, would your Holy Spirit illumine our minds, excite our spirit, uh, uh, strengthen our energy for praise and worship to the Most High God. We bless your word today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory be to God Most High. Now, today we have three aims for change. Listen, listen. Number one, we're going to compare the reason for and expressions of praising God in these two psalms that we're reading today. Then we're going to gain spiritual inspiration by various types of praise music and hymns. We're going to actually praise God today. We're going to do it in song and word, and you might even shout before the lesson is over. And then finally, we're going to praise God using the Psalms. A lot of gospel songs are written based on the word of God. A lot of gospel songs are written based on the spiritual inspiration that comes from reading of the Psalms and living a, an experience with God. Listen, you have to know that your praise it really erupts into a new song every time you have an encounter with God. Amen and amen. Now, first of all, we're going to look at the At a Glance lesson. And section one is a call to praise taken from Psalms 149 verses one through three. Hear the reading of the word of God. Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name, Lord have mercy, in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. You see in these few verses, a call to praise. It is a call to praise 
creatively. We got to create ways to give praise to God. It is an invitation. Some people don't like it when the worship leader gets up and asks them to stand and clap their hand and say hallelujah and give God a shout, give God a praise. But yet, this section says that we need a call to praise the Lord. We're in a setting of a congregation. We're in our living rooms. And all of a sudden, when we think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my heart cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. We have a call to praise. And that's simply God, uh, uh, spirit gives us a call to boast about what God has done, to showcase what the Lord has done, to commend what God has done, to rave, you know, to make a noise, make a joyful noise was one of the lessons in our Sunday school. Listen, he wants us to celebrate God, celebrate the creator of heaven and earth and all who live therein. God deserves a praise and sometimes we need an invitation. You go into a sanctuary, sometimes you don't know whether to praise God or not. It's so quiet in the room, you don't know what's happening. And so you need somebody to invite you to let you know that it's all right to praise the Lord. And so then there are ways that we respond to the call to praise. The psalmist just said in verse one, praise ye the Lord. Then he has said, sing unto the Lord. <laughs> That's one way to respond to the call to praise, singing and then dancing. Then play something on the piano, the harp, uh, the drums, play something on the tambourine, play something on the guitar, play something on the organ. Let's get the instruments involved in praising God and be creative. Some of you may be composers, lyricists, but be creative. The creative art of composing music, assigning each instrument a, 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 a note, a tone, a section, a rhythm. Get it together, Mr. or Miss Composer. Let's get together. Let us be uh, ever looking for new ways to express how we feel about what the Lord has done for us. And music plays that role in our lives. Verse three says, let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. When you praise the Lord, listen to the effects of praise. It lifts God's triumphant ability to deliver, restore, and defend his people from their adversaries. God inhabits the praises of God's people. And so praise is powerful. Praise is effective. Praise is an awesome weapon against your adversaries. Let everything that have breath Praise ye the Lord. Now, why should we praise? We're going to play this song, and I want you to listen and sing along and see how it makes you feel. See how this song allows you to engage in the praises of our God. I love to praise him. I love to praise his mighty name.
glory to God. What a praise. And y'all, if you don't know the power of that song to excite worship and praise of God, I want to commend it to your Sunday morning service because songs like this, when sung together in the congregation, elicits praise, genuine spirit-filled praise. Hallelujah. I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, hallelujah. The next section, God delights in praise. Just like I was enjoying the choir, God is also enjoying the choir. God, listen, God takes pleasure in praise. Let's listen to Psalm 149, verses four through five. Listen, for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Listen, wherever you are, you can give a praise to God. God delights in you. God takes pleasure in your praise. God really loves it when you show gratitude to what he has done through your praise. Listen, if you praise, that's a sign that you trust God. When you praise God, that is a sign that you praise God. We, we, we have often said that if you go through a Sunday service and you have not clapped your hand, you have not raised your arms in the sky in adoration of God, You've just sat there through the whole service. There is a song we sing, and I want to play it for you now because you can still get in with the praise of God. tree, which is normally sung between the reading of the Old Testament and the New Testament. And we bridge those two covenants with a praise to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It is a way for us to just give God more glory as a congregation. And so it helps us to center our focus on God during the worship of God. What a beautiful uh, intro, what a beautiful uh, little, little breakthrough in between the reading of the scriptures, which connect and tie them together and helps us lift God to the highest. Because the next section says that the focus of praise is God. Psalms 150 verses one through six. Let's hear the reading of God's word. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. <laughs> it's a command, it's an invitation for you as an individual to praise our God. And it says God is to be praised in our homes, in our houses of worship, wherever we are in creation. Praise God. God is to be praised for his works, for what he does, 
for his excellent greatness for whom God is. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And how can we end this overview of this lesson? Except with a praise. Except with a praise. And I want you to sing along with this choir as they sing the praise that we sing so often in the church of God. But in the most precious, in the most holy name of Jesus, let everyone that agreed say amen, amen. and say it again, amen. and say it again. Praise amen. God from whom all... lesson beloved with an invitation to praise God we are so excited we are so excited that you have been in this lesson with me today and I pray that you have praised God with everything that is in you I praise that you have allowed the spirit of God to usher in a praise our lesson has been exciting our lesson has been uplifting. Our lesson has invited us to praise God. So I want to thank you for listening. I want you to remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And if you are inclined to support this ministry through the power of the Holy Spirit, you can cash app dollar sign Earl Griffin 2. You can send the Zelle donation 318-245. 2743 or mail to the Monroe District, P.O. Box 612, Grambling, Louisiana, 71245. Again, there's a correction on my number. It is 318-245-2743. God bless you today. God keep you. It has been a pleasure sharing this lesson with you. Again, Go forth in the praise and adoration of our God. Father, we thank you for this lesson. We thank you for those who have been with us. We ask that you, O oh God, would magnify yourself in their spirit, that they would usher up a praise in your name. Amen.